Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Let's make a milkshake inspired by Hocus Pocus because it is Halloween soon. I started off by decorating my milkshake glass with some marshmallow fluff and then some sprinkles around it. I love this effect. Then to make the actual shake, I put a couple of scoops of vanilla ice cream into my blender, a quarter cup of whole milk. Absolutely the most freshest looking vanilla ice cream I've ever seen in my life. I also don't really like that she coated the outside of the brim of the glass with something as stupid as sprinkles. I, I like sprinkles, I do, and I like marshmallows too, to a limited degree. Uh, but I think coating the outside of the brim of something is extraordinarily stupid, especially if you're going to drink it. But whatever. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yes, I am wearing something ridiculous today, as you, <laughs> as you guys can see. Um, it's Halloween today. So uh, when I made this video, it was Halloween. And when you're seeing it, which is probably, what, Friday? Uh, this is like the day before that, I think, right? I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this costume, this, this, this theatrical release of said item that I'm wearing. It's Doc Holliday from um, Tombstone, which is one of my favorite movies. And I love Val Kilmer. I think Val Kilmer is a great actor. And uh, Eddie Murphy too. I love Eddie Murphy too. He wasn't in the movie, but I just wanted to point it out that I also like a black actor. Black actors are pretty good too. Uh, but today we're gonna go through Becky Jones's entire Halloween. Um, not everything, but when the stream comes out tonight, which is, I guess, the Friday, sorry, the Thursday before this, uh, we probably watched all of it. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Some of this deep purple food coloring and some butterscotch syrup, Ooh. as well as some edible glitter that was purple. You, you, just I blended can't, that. you just can't hate Becky. Becky is just so, so kind, so beautiful, such a majestic individual. She just emanates good, positive energy. And that's one thing I love about Becky so incredibly much. I, as much as I hate... As much as I, like, I know a lot of people will hate on Becky and they'll say that, oh, like, I, I remember when that subreddit was up and people were talking about how um, she was having sex with people in high school and stuff like that. I thought that was, like, gross. Like, what are we talking about? Like, Becky's a grown woman now. Whatever happened to her in high school is what happened to her in high school. She was a children at the time. It is what it is. I think Becky, personally, even though she has a lot of problems, and a lot of those problems are to do with the fact that she eats a lot. She does eat a lot of food and she doesn't do enough exercise, but she's been getting back onto it. Um, I think that she's just a good, kind-hearted person in general. So, uh, I, I want everybody to realize that I really do like Becky. That all... Not like that, not like that. Oh, to be honest, I could have done with a lighter purple for the colouring. It's okay. But it looked absolutely amazing. Ooh. So, I poured it into my milkshake glass. It's, it's kind of, it's a little liquidy, though. You're gonna have to freeze that up, right? Dude, that's, that's a little bit too liquidy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. The colour is nice, I'll give it that, but it's a little bit too liquidy. Put the whipped cream on. Why do we even need this, though, Becky? Why are we making... I get it, like, this is for the Hocus Pocus movie or whatever it's called, but it's, you didn't need to eat this, right? I mean, hopefully you didn't eat this, but it looks like you probably did, given the fact that there's only one of them, and your mouth is open, so I'm gonna probably guarantee that she ate it. This is my favorite part. I was panicking, though, because I needed to put the sprinkles on and the straw in before the cream melted. Here is some different colored sprinkles, and then I found a straw with a witch on it. Uh, it kind of doesn't look good, though, if I'm being honest with you. It looks like wet, wet, wet ice cream. It's just really, really wet ice cream and, I guess, just sugar, I suppose. Oh, plastic, sorry. Paper straws as well. Oh, I fucking hate paper straws. I get it. We're saving the penguins. We're saving the chimpanzees. We're saving the ducks. I get it. But, like, dude, I don't give a fuck what happens to a, a sea dog out in the middle of the, the Atlantic. Now, I mean, I get it. It sucks a lot of dick that they're chewing on, you know, uh, plastics and things such and so forth. They're like, what the fuck can I do about it, dude? Nothing. And look at it. I am very pleased with this. And I am loving doing Halloween content. I just love yeah, it. She's going to body slam that shit easily. No problem either. Uh, Becky is obviously going to swallow that shit down. And you know what? Halloween special time. So I guess, you know, it's okay. The problem is, like, she eats like this all the time regardless. So I just realized I'm recording in the... Uh, the other one but it's okay we're gonna make do with what it is okay but um yeah it, it's okay that becky is is doing this but like usually when she does eat like this it's like every day she eats candy she eats takeout she eats like this ridiculously all the time so it just kind of takes away the allure the, the 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 novelty of halloween right it's like if you're eating thanksgiving dinner every single day then you're not really eating thanksgiving dinner when thanksgiving comes up right because that's like a normal day for you if you know what i'm talking about I just can't bake, even if it's a box bake. 
I got these make your own monster cupcakes from m and I thought, oh, what could go wrong? The sponge mix is already in there. The icing mix is already in there. I just needed to add butter, butter. milk and an egg. It was all going so smoothly. And then the muffin cases didn't fit. In it, it's okay if they don't fit. I mean, it, it's fine, right? It doesn't really matter. Once you start putting the, the stuff inside, it starts like... It will, it will it will weight it down and then they'll be able to go in more efficiently. My muffin baking tray. Yeah, there but you I go. thought that would be all right. There you go, Becky. You're was fine. Which it was a divide. Yeah, see, it don't look bad. It don't look bad here. This looks okay to me. The mixture, and then this is when it went downhill. It said to cut the tops off, which I did, and then the whole cake crumbled. I thought it's okay. It's okay. I'm just winging it now. When I put the icing on, the cake lifted up with it. <laughs> anyway, I tried my best. And this was the it's result. It's cute. It's cute, okay? As much as, like, <laughs> it's not the best, but it's very cute. I'll give Becky that. I wonder how many she ate, though. Um, these things seem pretty calorie dense. Oh, I got not the worst, but some of them. It's okay. The ones I've it's put all the right. Back, it's all right. Just ignore it. <laughs> it was it's fun. Fine. And, yeah, I just give up with bacon, though. I prefer cooking. Oh. That one on the left is really sad, though. The one on the far left right there, very, very sad. And the one on the far right in the back, also very, very sad as well. Jesus, man. I mean, it's okay. You didn't need to have to cover all of them. It looks like some of them here are fine. They look like they're not coated. Um, this one is, but, like, not all of them are. Like, there's at least two that are not. All day long, bacon is a little bit stressful. Happy Halloween week. How many did you Hi, eat? everyone, and welcome to my Why Eat in a Day. So oh. For my breakfast before my walk, I had a sausage on toast with a side of sausage. Oh. Someone actually commented that, and I couldn't stop laughing. Then... Oh, these look fucking creepy as hell, dude. Um, I think she got these from MNS or whatever they call it over there. Halloween, Halloween oriented food. It's okay. I had a Halloween themed tea. I got this food from MNS and I made yeah. a Greek salad to go with it all. It was so. Oh, and the Dino Nuggets, just for Dino Nuggets' sake. I don't even think they taste very good at all. I know a lot of people really love chicken nuggets, but whenever I've had chicken nuggets, they're they're really mid. Like, they're all right. Like, I'll eat them if they're there. If this is all we have, I'll most definitely put them in my mouth. Like, if that's all we got. But in general, I think chicken nuggets are incredibly, incredibly bland. They don't taste like really anything in particular. If you cook them for too long, too, they just kind of take on the taste of the oven. So I hope you wash your oven because at the bare minimum, they're going to taste like ass. So um, I hope I hope that if you like them, you're coating them with something. Oh, so good. Look at the bat. Mac and cheese bites, garlic chicken bite. Okay. It's, you know, I feel like the one of the main problems with Becky is that the portion sizes for her are extraordinarily large because of the plates. These plates are massive, ginormous plates. And she fills them up. She really fills them up. Here, not so bad, but usually she does fill these things up. Pumpkin puff pastry burgers, Burger. which were honestly Burger. delicious. I'm going to probably say they... By the way, I want to celebrate Corey's World for getting engaged. That's beautiful. You guys are awesome. Were my favorites in the garlic bites. You all know I love a bit of garlic, especially garlic bread. Then after it, we had the bat jelly, which was raspberry flavored. Also from M&S as well. It doesn't look good in my opinion, dude. Bat jelly, but it's just in the shape of a square. Loved it. Love it. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Love it. Then I had a double dessert. Of so course. I had this a double dessert, Becky. Because you deserve it, naturally. I mean, what'd you do today, right? What did you do today? I guess she walked for a little bit. She walked for like 30 minutes today, which is beautiful. But I got to keep it a buck. She walked for 30 minutes. She may have burned 200, 300 calories. This right here is literally going to evaporate all of those calories, okay? All those cal calories that you burnt today are literally irrelevant, given the fact that this entire thing probably covers that entire thing. So, like, I think that a lot of these people, including Becky, if you're going on walks, a lot of them think that that's the way to lose weight. And they're right to a certain degree, but a lot of them think that's it. That's the only way. And you're going to get immediately dissuaded when you realize that you just we just went on a walk for 30, 40 minutes, burned 300 calories, and you just ate away 300 calories in just this. Just this alone would be 300 calories. And that's going to make a lot of people hurt their brains. A lot of people are going to look at that and go, it's not worth it to work out. I've, yeah, it's not worth it to work out, especially if you're eating shit like this. But if you prioritize the diet, which a lot of people should be doing then it won't be that big of a deal but anyway call in the caterpillar yogurt dessert if you haven't tried one of these i strongly advise you do so tasty oh actually i had triple dessert. damn bro triple dessert becky becky come on becky god damn <laughs>
No, stop, I forgot. I didn't eat all this, though. Not that that, um, you know, matters to you all. I had a bit of this praline. Now, you didn't eat all of it, though. It's kind of crazy when the first bite literally takes out a fifth of it. Moose cake. It was so good. Hi, everyone. So it is pie night tonight, and I have done mince and onion, which I haven't done before. So I'm excited to try it. So let's dish it out together. Okay, so we've obviously got the pie. We've got some of these potato chips to go with it. Some veg and some gravy. Gravy. So let's Gravy. Put this pie. I'm so excited. I hope we've got like a little crunch. Where am I going to go from? I don't know what happened to my pastry there. That side. Just Ooh, it sounds good though. Growing up in New England, we did eat shit like this. Okay, we're 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 kind of like an offshoot. I feel like uh, we're the island of misfit toys of the UK, in my opinion. Um, but I would like to think that we're better in our culinary decisions, to be honest, dude. Um, over there in the UK, you guys eating some wild shit. Like, vinegar on fries and, and random fish and stuff like that. And, you know, dipping beans and everything. Why? Why beans and everything? Big piece of this. Let's see if we can get it out. Chio. Ooh, it does look good though. I'm not gonna lie, Becky. You did a good job. I love Ooh, you last time. Like I would eat it. I would eat it, bro. And I'm not talking about the food. Yo, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. You can't have a pie that hasn't got gravy in. Because I usually do like more creamy chicken pies. So um, I did this all for you. Damn. That's a lot, Becky. Damn, bro. Leave some for the rest of us. Since it's this watery, aren't you literally getting a portion of everybody else's? Because it's like spreading out across the, the bottom, right? Then I'm gonna put some broccoli on. Okay. Yeah. Just some hard ass fucking broccoli. I yeah. hope you cooked it. Yeah. And then we've got some veg, which we'll actually use as well. Peas and sweet corn. Is that not enough for you or? Okay, I mean, at least there's the vegetables. I can't hate on the vegetables. Okay, what are those chicken nuggets? Oh, no, those are the chips, or whatever they call those things. Damn, the plate size is big as fuck! Damn! Becky gotta calm down with these fucking ginormous portion sizes, bro. I don't think I need any more gravy, but look at that. Wow. Everyone's so, oh, everyone's so excited to talk in, guys, so let me talk in now. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so amazing! Mm. So different but gorgeous. Beautiful, Becky. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Love it. Veg is so fresh as well. Uh, aren't they all frozen? Aren't they all frozen vegetables? I guess. I don't know what her definition of fresh is, but sure, Becky. Mm -mm. But let me know what you've all got. I'm a, what pie do you like as well? Do you like more creamy ones or do you like gravy ones? Love gravy. I like gravy. Happy Halloween, everyone. Ooh. So this morning I went for breakfast at the Holly's Farm Shop. I've never been here before, but look how pretty it was. Really Halloween-y and autumn-y, which I absolutely love these vibes. The little cafe in there is like a takeaway one. So first of all, I seen the list of hot chocolates and of I was course. like, ooh. Gotta go right for the hot chocolate, dude. What do they got? Classic haunted chocolate, haunted hot chocolate, pumpkin spice, uh, ookie, ookie ghost chocolate. So I went for the spooky ghost one, which was white chocolate. Then they had a selection of Halloween cakes too. I went Damn, you got a Halloween cake too. I wouldn't ordinarily have a problem with this, like for regular people, because not many people are eating sweets on a daily basis like Becky is. But I literally see Becky eating chocolate every single day, literally every single day. So, given that information, given the fact that Becky is already body slamming copious amounts of calories in general. I would highly recommend that on days like this where you're probably going to be indulging a crazy amount like that, maybe chill back just a little bit, right? A a one or two pieces of candy is all right, but god damn, Becky, uh, it's kind of going overboard a little bit. For this one. What is Becky dressing up for as Halloween? I tried my hot chocolate first before my breakfast muffin was done. This hot chocolate was amazing. I went for the sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. Oh, she got When it came, too. I just thought, oh, wow. It's sloppy. It's real sloppy, but some people like it sloppy, so. Look at it. It was honestly so delicious. The patty tasted so different to what I'm used to. In a good way. It didn't even, it doesn't even look like a patty. It just looked like they took like 
sausage meat and just spread it out across it was the very pan. very nice. Had some ketchup on it as well, of course. I was so looking forward to my biscuit, though. I took all the Maltesers off first and the little pumpkin, and then I broke it in the middle. I had to bring half home with me because it was so filling. Damn. And it was like melted chocolate in the middle. Happy Halloween to you all. Happy Halloween, Becky. Hope you enjoy your Halloween. Have a great Halloween. Damn, that shit's big as fuck. I, I know that shit was dense in calories, Halloween. man. Probably like 600, 600 calories in that alone. Not even joking Hi, either. everyone, and welcome to my Hawaii in a day. For breakfast, we went back to the OG breakfast. Yeah, the Weetabix and Nutella. Warm Weetabix with Nutella. Of course. Uh, a lot of Nutella, too. Our girl loves it. So much so that she literally puts, like, two tablespoons on it just on the initial spoonful alone. Absolutely delicious. I don't like that, though. You know when you're cooking food for people and at the very top of the... Uh, whatever food that you're making, people will go for that first because it's got the most of whatever that is. I fucking hate that shit, bro. Stir the shit in. I hate when people cook food and they leave a layer of whatever that stuff is at the very top. Like Nutella, for instance. Um, it's just a giant heaping serving of Nutella on the very brim of whatever you're cooking. I get it. You like it. But, like, it's too much. Good Lord, Becky. Then for my dinner, I made, like, a little snack plate. So I had some cookies, crackers, cheese doodles, and Ritz. And cheese, of course, obviously. Uh, everything a growing girl needs. I mean, growing in the sense of outward, you know, outward and not tall. Like, if you were maybe, like, 10, I could maybe see somebody eating this. So it would make a little bit more sense, too, actually. But uh, being somebody that's, like, what, 32, 33, something like that? Uh, probably not. Probably not, Becky. This might not be the best choice on your part, but, you know, GG. Some Ritz crackers, some cheese sandwiches, some cookies. Some cheese sandwiches? It's just crackers and cheese. I would never say they're cheese sandwiches, but, I mean, that's pretty lax. If I, the, the people that say that cereal is soup. Like, I understand where you're going with that, but nobody ever in their right mind would ever say that cereal is soup. Like, it just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> or people that make hot dogs, um, putting them on buns. Like, would you just have a sandwich? I guess, but not really. Some Cheetos. And a little cheese block, like a cream... Not Cheetos, those are cheese doodles, but go ahead. Cheese one to put on the cracker. I'm not going to argue with her. It was so delicious. Very cheesy, though. Then for my tea, I yeah, had... Well, you had nothing but cheese there, so. One of my favorite teas, which is my dad's honey and mustard chicken, with new potatoes and some broccoli. Honestly, it's good. a 10 out of 10 from me. It's just one of the nicest comfort foods ever. Then after Isn't everything... Okay, first of all, dude, we're not going to have a cut, and I'm just going to see some Ben and Jerry's. That's pretty disrespectful, Becky. I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing with that. Um, isn't everything that Becky eats a comfort food? Am I wrong in saying that, bro? Everything she eats, without a doubt, comforts herself. So, I mean, I understand what you're saying, Becky. But, nah, everything, everything you eat has been comforting to your mouth. But go ahead, bro. Show us the Ben and Jerry's. Show us this disgusting Ben and Jerry's. For that for dessert, I had fish food, Ben and Jerry's. Well, why did you need fish food? Maybe it's not actually fish, right? It's not actually fish, hopefully. But why did you need... Like, so many people think that they need a dessert at the end of food. But, like, you don't need it. It, it, it just adds the calories. So many people I know personally will have their food. No matter what the meal is, they'll have a dessert right after it. Which is insane. Every single meal you're having a dessert, dude, I don't know if you guys realize this, but even eating like a cookie or like a Rice Krispie treat or like whatever the fuck at the end of that meal, you know you're adding in maybe like half of what you ate in that meal, right? Like if your meal was 600 calories and then you then ate a Rice Krispie treat, which are like 200, 300 calories, you do know that's like half, right? You do know that's half of what you just ate. Crazy. Jerry's. No, I did not eat the whole pot. It well, already had half left from last time. Well, and I had about four mouthfuls. I don't well, think I could actually eat a full pot of Ben and Jerry's. Damn, bro. This too? God damn, Becky. Please, Candy too? Too sickly. Then a little bit later on, Yo, I... Yo, this angle ain't the best. I'm gonna keep it above. I had one of my Halloween lollipops from M&S. The chocolate in this was just so good. Very creamy. Sounds like, it very, looks like you're not having a good time eating it, though. Very milky and very chocolatey. Let's make our Halloween tea using the M&S Halloween range. I am so excited. Okay, so first of all, it's an oven and air fryer job because I haven't got enough space in my air fryer. So we're going to put the sliders in the oven because they take 20 minutes in there. These look so good. Yeah, I'm guessing these were the burgers that she was eating earlier. The ones that she was body slamming, the ones that are on the tray, the Halloween ones. I love them. I like the Oogie Boogie one right there. The one with the, the one that looks like it's from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> These look so cool as well. Okay, then in the air fryer... That air fryer have been working, bro. That air fryer literally since day one has been putting in too much work. Got the oozy garlicky chicken bites. Put them in. 
and the mac and cheese bites, which I'm looking forward to. You also get a dip in this as well. So here is my M and S. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was tonight. Halloween inspired. Look at them. I love the garlic bread. Love it. Love it. Bat chicken. The terror menacing mac and cheese bites. I don't know what's menacing about them. Probably the diarrhea you're gonna have after. Like that's the real. That's the real horror story. It's like not eating it. Not eating it. But afterwards, what happens to your stomach when that should be bubbling and then you have to run to the bathroom at 2 p.m. My bad, 2 a.m. in the morning because you woke up in the middle of the night and your stomach is literally arguing with you and you got to run to the bathroom and satisfy that toilet. Oozy garlic bite. And I've made a Greek salad. Of course. And there's our pudding. So let's dish it that's out That's not pudding. That's jello. So first of all. Those are two different things, the Becky. Cheese, the burgers, basically. Burger. I love my burgers. We've got is that a hot dog I'm looking at? What is this like? This little thing in here I'm looking at. Got, oh, it's probably like a handle or something, mac right? And cheese bites. I really hope that they're good. Mac and cheese bites, and same with the garlic ones. These garlic ones smell amazing. And then I'm going to put my salad on. I'm trying to do this over here. So here is mine. Let's go and tuck in. It's okay. It's not the worst. It's also not the best. Everything she eats is basically brown, but I'm happy there's some green in there too today. Got an extra bit of happy for the green. Let's try the burger. I'm so excited to see what this burger. is. Burger. I love the burger. Oh my God. It's so mm. good. Look how nice these look. Also, as well, I know M&S is a little bit pricey, but you just know the food is going to be amazing. It's so good. Oh my mm. god. Now with the mac and cheese bites, the cheese is stringy cheese, so I'm a little bit well, worried, I'm gonna try and eat it. Can't argue with that, huh, Becky? Dad, can we swap the mac and cheese bites for can I have one of the garlic ones and you can have the three of these? I swap the mac and cheese bites for some more of the garlic ones because I can't do them. That stringy yeah, cheese. Becky doesn't like stringy cheese apparently, or just cheese in general. Does anybody else have a problem with the new um scroll bar on youtube i don't like how it goes from red into purple or whatever this is i don't like it what do you guys think about that it's nice but i'm just panicking when i'm eating it garlic bread mm. some greek salad mm -mm. good job becky and some chicken bat oh chicken bats i thought those were dino nuggets mm. The pudding. In a bowl. The pudding. In a bowl. It looks like it's kind of watery too at the bottom there. In a bowl. Let's give it a taste test. Chins for days. Oh, I love jelly. Wibble wobble. Isn't that made with bones? Well, I hope Damn, you that was minimal chewing. I guess it's jelly. I guess it doesn't matter. You know what? Forget it. It's it's not a big deal. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video today. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope everybody enjoyed that I uh, dressed up for today's video too, getting into the Halloween spirit. I'm not going anywhere for Halloween, by the way. I'm just kind of chilling with people on live stream. So you're seeing this a day after, but it's okay. Regardless, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. I really do. Um, if you uh, watched today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Huckleberry because I'm your Huckleberry. Say when. Say when. Say when. Go ahead. Leave that down below. Um, if you understood that reference, I love you. Anyway, uh, you're beautiful. You're you're fantastic. You're you're just a, a whole organism of beauty and amazingness. And I really love that about you. You're just so awesome in so many ways. Um, thank you for watching today's video, by the way. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.